Hey, look, even the pigeons are friendly. They want to come and say hello. So, yeah, I need to be careful. I'm just going to, every time I film at the moment, I'm just going to have a big grin on my face. Good morning. I am very excited, very excited, not just because I'm on a boat, because I'm not on a narrow boat for once. I am on a special kind of boat called a wide beam, which is basically one and a half times the width of, an, of a narrow boat. So it's like a whole new experience. I can't begin to explain what it's like. Imagine you're used to having arms this long and suddenly your arms are this long. That's what it's like. And we're off into the fresh morning. We're in Yorkshire, which is far north, the far north sort of thing of uh, the UK, before you hit Scotland. Very, very pretty countryside. Everyone you go past says, ooh, a wide beam, they're much harder to steer, harder to stop. Ooh, why have you got one of those? And I said, because I've never had one before. <laughs> I'm really excited. And it is, I'll tell you what, I'll show you around the boat later, inside. It is fantastic, uh, inside. It's like, it's not like being on a narrowboat, it's more like being in a flat, quite frankly. It's like a flat that moves through the water. <laughs> that was tight. On a narrow boat, if you want to look down the side of the boat to make sure you're not going to hit something, you just do this. One, two, and there you go. With this thing, if I want to see, I've got to sort of look like this, let go of the tiller, and then look like this. And of course, if I let go of the tiller, the boat, like now, we're about to hit the bank. I, and I did, I'll be honest, yesterday, I hit the bank a couple of times because I wasn't used to it. I'd come back, yeah, you wander across, do your steering and come back and think it's too late. The, boat's, the boat has made up its own mind. That's the thing with narrowboats and wide beams, they do make up their own mind. You've got to keep a hand on the tiller at all times and keep looking where you're going. <laughs> there you go. Nice and simple. Although, chosen morning rush out so it's quite a good time so got to get it sorted there you go just squeeze through oh whoop this is the first lock we've actually had to do ourselves we've been on the boat for two days now and so far all the locks are manned, I said, by uh, staff and volunteers, which is lovely. But this is the first one we've done ourselves. You have to do the bridges yourselves. You have to open the bridges. And it's great because there's two boats up ahead in the lock. Because they're narrow boats, you can get two in the lock. But our boat is a big wide boat, so we, we have to go in the lock all by ourselves. But the thing is, we've been sort of travelling together. And it's really good because when you come to a bridge, you sort of take turns doing the hard work and let the others through. And so it's really nice. So there you go. All we've got to do now is wait for them to finish with the lock. Then we're going to take our turn to go in and catch them up in a minute. It's all very chilled and very lovely. This is what it's like when you're inside a lock on your own. So if you can hear, but it's very noisy. And you've got to get it balanced. You don't want to hit the gates at the front and you don't want to caught on the back. Fascinating. I've been wanting to come on a wide beam for ages and I couldn't, it's, it's really rare to find a, a rental boat that's wide beam. And these lovely people, Silsden Boats, I stumbled across them online and I got in touch and they, they had this boat. So we, uh, yeah, here we are. It's just so brilliant. But again, I was thinking, I'm trying to contain my excitement so I don't sound too sort of schoolboyish. Yes, so in a while, I will show you around the boat.
and show you why uh, I've been looking forward to it so much and why I'm enjoying it so much. There, calm. That's my new thing of the day. I'm going to be calm today. Oh, by the way, you should go and look up there. There's where we're driving through, the canal's really nice, the scenery's really nice, but so are the houses and the villages and the towns, beautiful. I, I almost want to, we should come this way, I'll show you a house I found. Come this way. You see, <laughs> I know, I feel a bit weird um, doing this, but uh, yeah, you walk off the boat and look at the houses, or you drive past the houses, and they're really cute. There's really nice allotments, and loads of people have got lovely little sheds right back onto the canal. And then you get things like this house here, when you've got an old boat just using as a seat. I just, it's incredibly cute. Literally, it's like, it's like you've walked onto a sort of TV set of Cutesville. It's very lovely. But anyway, there. Just thought I wanted to show you that. This section of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal is apparently scintillating. And I can see why they would say that. It is very nice. Uh, I mean, look. And that's the thing, because it's spring, it is very lovely. It's very lush and green and gorgeous. It is, well, it's breakfast time. I'm just about to have breakfast. Just having my first cup of tea of the day. And I have totally spoiled myself, and indeed Mike, by putting on a fire. It's actually not that cold. <laughs> I just like having a fire. So we are sitting here, drinking tea in the morning. And, and the reason I'm telling you this <clears throat> is the wide beam. It, it, I can't begin, it, it's, I, I'm not even sure I can explain it properly. But normally, in a narrow boat, my feet, where I'm sitting, would literally be on the other side of the boat. In this one, I'm totally stretched out. This living space, this living space is just awesome. I love this part of the day on a boat. We've turned round, we're on our way back home. We've just done a lock and it's really nice. There's another boat there and you know, we all help each other. We help each other do stuff so it's much nicer than doing it by yourself. And we're going along and if you look behind me, the sun came out and there's a bluebell wood and the sun is just sort of dappling through the trees. It looks beautiful. Just down that way, there's a fantastic river with a path and it does feel as if all the stars have aligned and said, please, Stop the boat now and enjoy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop the boat and go for a stroll and then have a cup of tea and probably spend the night here on our beautifully broad beamed boat. Ooh. Right, I'm going to lock up. I promised you a tour of the boat. This is Bob's drum, beautiful wide beam. So why don't you, it's, it's just started to rain. Why don't you come on board and we'll have a tour of the boat. 
You can see why I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. This, I would say, is the heart of a wide beam. This is the bit that makes it so fabulous. Is it so wide? I mean, look, literally on a narrow beam boat, a, a narrow boat, this is the space you've got. The whole world is this wide. On this boat, you can go da da da, da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da. And you can sit here, as I do in the evenings, stretch out, ah. And Mike can sit over here and stretch out, ah. And it's plenty, it, I, I can't begin to tell you, if you've never been on a narrowboat, you won't understand, but if you have been on a narrowboat, you will understand. This is, this is luxury, it's decadence. All I will say is this, when we first got on this boat, we, we took it away for a short bit from the boatyard and, and moored it up. And Mike and I we were sitting there and we said, should we just stay here and not move all week? Just being on the boat is enough of a thrill. We don't need to travel. Of course we did travel, but there you go. It's gorgeous. You've got a little wood burning stove here. When that is on, it heats the whole space. I mean, and it is a glorious space it heats. Front of the boat, as always, lovely. And I would say this turns into a bed as well. And there's a radio. So basically this is, this is like a little paradise, a little broad beam paradise. The kitchen. Very glorious. They're always lovely on narrowboats, but this one is spacious as well as being glorious. And it's very nice. I should stress, I love this extra space. And I mean, I'm really, really enjoying it. But it doesn't mean that I'd always want to come on a wide beam boat. For me, it's almost like the difference between wide beam and narrowboat, for me, is like chocolate. Let's pretend we're talking about chocolate. A narrowboat is milk chocolate. So you can always eat that. You can always enjoy that. This is like that dark chocolate you get sometimes from like Waitrose or somewhere. And then you have a bit of a thing, oh, that's lovely, that's lovely. So I love the wide beams and I would definitely recommend everyone should have a go at it. But that doesn't mean that I'd want to turn my back on the narrowboats because I also love those. They have a charm of their own. But this is just marvellous. There you go. I'm almost speechless and also I'm a bit embarrassed because we left last night's dinner on the stove. So anyway, ignoring that, let's move on to the bedrooms. There are two bedrooms on this boat. There are also lots of doors. I get a trifle confused. This is a cupboard door. This, I think, is a bedroom door. Yes, this is a bedroom door, because there's also an ensuite door and another bedroom door. Anyway, this is my bedroom. Come on in, I'll show you around. So, here we go. Again, lots of doors. I do love this. One of these has a little bathroom behind it. Which one do you think it is? Is it this one? Or this one? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a cupboard! This is a little ensuite bathroom in here. Diddy, very nice. And this is a lovely double bed. Now, again, if you're used to narrow boats, this is how wide the boat is normally. So you can, you can only get out of the bed one side. Because the way this is, you can get out of the bed both sides. So if there's two of you in the bed, which if I was with my dear wife, that would be the situation, you can both get out of bed your own side, which is actually rather nice. But yeah, come on my own this week, and Mike's on his own. It's just like a luxury. A lovely, lovely luxury, and they are very nice. But enough of that, let's go further down the corridor. So, that's my room, ensuite, second bedroom, which is Mike's bedroom, so it's a bit dirty. I wouldn't suggest we go in there. Oh. <laughs> right, and then, straight out that way, is the back of the boat, and I'll go there now. Ah, so here we are, back at the beginning. Well, back at the fun bit of the boat, the bit where you steer and do all the stuff, which is really nice on a wide beam. So there you go. Ah, home sweet floating home.
this is the Bingley five rise. It's like five locks all in a row. We're halfway up. And two things, two things have struck me while I'm doing this. Firstly, what an amazing piece of engineering the whole thing is. The gates tower above you. You're in these deep locks and it's just noisy and thunderous, but incredibly uh, well engineered. You know, it does the job really beautifully. But the other thing that struck me is that it's all being done by volunteers. There's one, there's one guy here who, who works for the CRT and everyone else is a volunteer. And it is incredible. It makes you realize how, uh, how the, it just, the canals would not function without the volunteers. And it makes you very humble and grateful that people do it. So, hang on, I've been told what to do here, hang on. Yeah, whoops, sorry. My fault, talking, you see, if you talk, you can't talk and steer. But, uh, so yeah. Thank you to all volunteers, that's what I'd say. Wow, amazing work, amazing job. about to hit Mike and we might hit now. You'll love this. We're gonna hit a bit. We're gonna kiss the we're gonna kiss the side just a tiny bit. Just a little gentle kiss he says well, there you go there you go tiny tiny kiss. Final day of our lovely holiday. As you can see, the weather is superb. It has been a bit soggy earlier on, but now it's been glorious the last couple of days. And uh, what can I say? Leeds Liverpool, really nice. Canal and River Trust volunteers, amazing work in the locks. And I have to say, there's some swing bridges on this stretch of canal. And we just came up to one and it was broken, it wasn't working, it had stopped working. So we rang the number, got hold of the Canal River Trust, and they said, we'll send someone out, and literally put the kettle on, had a cup of tea, and this lovely bloke arrived, sorted it out, and sent us on our way. So again, thumbs up and full marks to the Canal River Trust for uh, their employees and their volunteers. Well done, guys and gals. Brilliant job. Uh, what else? Wide beam. Well, hopefully if you've watched this film, you'll know my thoughts. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan, I'm a big wide fan, but, I'll be very happy to go back to narrow boats too. I don't want to leave those behind. I love them still. Hang on. So 
So uh, it's the last day. We've just moored up, cracked open a beer. Hang on. And we are pretty much in paradise. It's beautiful. There are lambs and sheep. It's actually rather pretty and beautiful greenery. And the sun is shining and I've got a beer in my hand. I have to say this is definitely is the life. I mean, obviously we all have to work from time to time, but I'd rather be on a boat. Cheers to that. Yeah.